Scientists believe that influenza virus is spread from person to person through exposure to large respiratory droplets, direct contact, or airborne dispersal. Infection takes place mainly in the respiratory tract. Infection begins with attachment of virus proteins to a receptor on the surface of the host cell. The virus is then taken in the cell by receptor-mediated endocytosis. As the virus enters the cell, the virus is internalized in a membrane-bound capture vesicle that carries the viral core. The vesicle is transported on microtubules inside the cell by host proteins called kinesins. During transport, the membrane of the vesicle fuses with the membrane of the virus and the capsid undergoes uncoating. The viral core, RNA, and proteins are then released into the cytoplasm, where they are guided by host proteins to the nucleus of the host cell. At the nuclear membrane, the viral core uses host protein channels to enter. Inside the nucleus, cell machinery is utilized by the virus to replicate the viral genome and make messenger RNA, mRNA. Some viral mRNA exits the nucleus to exploit cellular ribosomes to direct synthesis of viral proteins. Viral proteins go back to the nucleus to associate with viral RNA. These nucleoproteins again leave the nucleus and use cellular processes to travel to the cell surface. Viral surface proteins are made and processed in the cytoplasm and also travel to the cell surface where they combine with the encapsulated nucleoproteins to form progeny viruses which depart from the cell by budding. The virion now goes on to infect other cells. At present, vaccines to stimulate the production of antibodies against the virus and stimulate host cellular responses to ingest the virus remain the best strategy for controlling certain viral diseases. But they are of limited effectiveness against rapidly mutating viruses and are ineffective against viruses that cause the common cold and AIDS.